Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a button that you can press, and then it will teleport you to another game. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go into the View tab, it is right beside the Test and the Plugin, and then open up Explore and Properties. After that, go into the Explorer, and try to find the one that says Start a GUI, so that is this one right here. So what you want to do is click the plus beside it, and enter in a screen GUI, and then under the screen GUI, click the plus and enter in a text button. And then just rename the text button to teleport button, just like that. So here is your button, it, is, it should be inside your studio and you can drag it around. I'm just going to put it in like the middle of the screen. And then I'm going to go into the properties. So this is how you can customize the button. So you can change the background color with this. So I'm going to change it to something like cyan. And then you can change like the size of it over here. And then you can change the text of it, which is all the way down here under text. So I'm just going to change it to teleport to insert game here. And I'm going to make it scaled. And then I'm going to go into the font, make it bold. Yeah, so the button looks something like this now. And so after you've customized your button, what you can do is go under the replicated storage. So find that, click the plus, and enter in a remote event. And just rename the remote event to teleport player. And after that, you can go into the teleport button, click the plus, and enter in a local script. And then just rename the local script to fire remote event just like that so i'm going to zoom in a little bit delete hello world and then just write local teleport equals to game dot replicated storage colon wait for child quotation marks and then teleport player so it should look something like this so what this does is we assign a variable called teleport to the remote event we put under the replicated storage after that go down two lines and then we're just going to zoom in a little bit and then write script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function put brackets and then go down the line and then write task dot wait one and then go down the line and write teleport colon fire server so what this does is uh, this part of the script will run when the player clicks on the button it's going to wait one second and it's going to fire the remote event so after that you can go back to the Explorer under the server script service, click the plus, enter in a script, and rename this to player teleporter. And then delete hello world, and you can write what I write. So go back to the fire remote event, and then just copy this line, go into the player teleporter script, and just paste it in like that. And then we're going to write a few more variables. So local teleport service equals to game colon get service quotation mark teleport service so it should look like that so what this does is we get the teleport service from the game after that go down the line and write local place id equals to so this is the most important part of the script uh, this basically just tells the script the game that you want the button to teleport you to so to get the place ID of your game, what you want to do is go to the actual game. So in my case, this is Garbage Picking Simulator, a game that I made. And you want to go onto the web page and then over the URL in between games and the name of the game, there should be a set of numbers. So just copy that, go back to the script and paste it in. So it should look something like that. After that, you can go down the line and write local players equals to game colon get service and then quotation marks players after that you can go down the line and then write local player equals to players colon get players and then after the brackets put a square bracket and then write one so what this does is uh, this gets the players in the game and this gets the first player inside the game. After that, you can go down two lines, teleport dot on server event colon connect function, put brackets, and then go down a line, 
and then write teleport service colon teleport async and then write place ID comma these brackets then player just like that so the entire script should look something like this and then the last thing you want to do is go into the home tab and go into game settings uh, and if the game settings isn't open for you then make sure that you save your game and then after that you want to go into security and turn on third-party teleports just like that and then go into permission and making your game public by making the game public you can test it out in the actual Roblox and then you can go into file and then publish it to Roblox so after you've done that go into your actual game on the Roblox website and then press play so here I am in the game in Roblox and then if I press the teleport to and after one second it should teleport me to the game so my game just froze because it is currently teleporting me to the game so garbage picking simulator and yeah there, there we go so yeah that'll be it for this tutorial if it helped make sure to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you guys next time bye